Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to learn what number pattern is. So what exactly is number pattern? A number pattern refers to a sequence of numbers that follows a certain order in mathematics. Sometimes we came across some questions that are in this form. 2, 4, 6, 8 and then comes the blank. What we have to do in this question is we have to identify the pattern in order to guess what are going to be the numbers in this in these blanks, right? So let's see what is the relation between the number 2 and the number 4. If I add 2 in number 2, it becomes what? It becomes 4, right? Likewise, if I add 2 and number 4 it becomes what? It becomes 6. Same if I add 2 and number 6 it becomes 8. So that means it is actually following the sequence or it's following the order in which all the numbers should be added in number 2 and then it should be written in the blank right so if we have a number 8 over here that means I have to add number 2 in it and when we add number 2 in it it becomes 10 likewise if we add number 2 in the number 10 it becomes the 12 so students these are the examples that you can see on the screen of the number pattern now there are a lot of methods that we can use or a lot of factors that we can keep in our mind in order to understand what type of sequence are there are. Alright? Let's move on. So today's video, in today's video we are going to discuss three patterns of number sequence. Alright? We're going to discuss three patterns of number sequence. Number one is addition. We have already uh, solved the example of addition, but let's take another look. For example, I have a number 10, 20, 30, 40, and then I have two blanks over here. Now, I will observe that the numbers that are written over here, they are actually increasing. What, are, what is happening here that the number is actually increasing so that means that this sequence must be of addition that is numbers are being added so let's find how much number is added in one number in order to find the other one so if I have 10 over here that means it will become 20 if I add 10 in it right if I add 10 in 20, it becomes 30, right? If I add 10 in 30, it becomes 40. Likewise, if I add 10 in 40, it becomes what? It becomes 50. And if I add 10 in 50, it becomes what? It becomes 60. So this is the answer and this is the correct order that is uh, that the number was following previously and then we find out the answers by uh, identifying the order of these uh, of these numbers all right now let's move on to the next example and that is of subtraction for example if i have a number here 30 27 24, 21, dash, dash. You can see that the number 30, 27, 24, and 21, they all are actually decreasing. The number here is decreasing. That means the sum is going to be of subtraction. That means there their relation between the number depends on subtracting one number from the other one all right so let's identify what is the number that is being subtracted from each of these numbers 
30 and 27. 27 needs 3 more in order to become 30. So that means it's actually minus 3. If I do minus 3, it becomes 27. Likewise, if I do minus 3 from 27, it becomes 24. If I do minus 3 from 24, it becomes 21. And now I have to identify and I have to guess these two numbers by doing the same thing. That is, I'm going to minus number 3 from 21 and it will become what? It will become 18. Same, we are going to do minus 3 from the number 18 in order to find this number. Right? So it will become 15. So 18 and 15 is going to be the answer and the sequence that we are following over here is actually minus 3. That is subtraction of 3. The next thing we are going to see um, is repetition. Repetition means that the same numbers appear again and again. For example, if I have 1, 2, 3, then again 1, 2, 3 and next they ask you what is going to be the two numbers in between so we have seen that there is a repetition of number 1 2 3 1 2 3 so that means naturally the next number is going to be 1 and 2 so it's actually repeating the number 1 is actually repeating after every two numbers number 2 is actually repeating after every two numbers so that is how we are going to identify the order of the numbers by looking at them and then finding the relation between these numbers, whether they are in increasing or they are decreasing, whether they are doing addition or they are doing subtraction. And we are going to um, solve the questions likewise. Okay, so this was... Uh, for today's video we'll be practicing these uh, in the next coming session as well see you guys in the next video